What's going on tonight, everybody? Hope you've all had a lovely day today. We're going to be uh, chilling with our retro night tonight. I'm going to try and get fate going. Need a little break from the overlord. We played it the last couple retro, retro streams, so I just want to try something new at this point. Oh, no, my, my, my sign's not lit. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm unprepared. <laughs> Here we go. All is not right with the world. Ugh. Let's see here. Will fate be kind to me? Uh, let's see here. Options, sound effects. Let's turn it down a wee bit. Oh, oh god, the lags. Um. Golder, welcome on in, sir. How are you this evening? Ain't no likey. Um, you know what? Look, 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 let's just restart. We'll restart. Well, this happened the last time we opened it up, too, if I remember correctly. Um, What hath occurred? Now it's doing it again! The shenanigans afoot right now. That's what's going on. Um. Alright, you know what? Quit. No, no. We no do this. Uh, let's see here. Upper ties. Local files. Let's try this. It's not wait, 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 wait. Where where is run? It should be under this. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, Sakura Tai. No. Previous versions. No. Customize. It's not even... No, why are you giving me the folder? This, right here. Computer, you hate me, don't you? There we go. Um, let's try this XP. Maybe that'll work. And run as administrator. Well, th this is usually my go-to when I'm having issues like this. W we'll see if it's gentle to me or not. Hard to say. Why are you coming up tiny? Why you do this? Why you do this? Uh -huh. You know what? Let's try this. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna go with adventure and assume it's normal. Is, 
is there yeah it's like a hair color difference <laughs> Uh oh, we have to customize. Do we do we go with the old man? Is is that what we should do? Oh. Could go with the glasses. Canadians are welcoming you like the Vegeta hair. Oh, he even looks angry in that one. Here we go. But see, it's it's not letting me like color his hair, so I can't make it like bright yellow. Like all Super Saiyan-ish. He looks so angry. No, like, those are our options. Okay. It's Angry Elf. Is that Elf, though? Like, it's, it's not like he's got the pointed ears. Face is covered by armor anyways. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Pet's name? Oh, I've got a cat or a dog, huh? Since oldest living memory, the dungeon gate has stood in the heart of the old wood. Its doorway leads to infinite possibility, to subterranean lands fabled in stories and myths. Stories Many and myths? Oh my god! over that ancient threshold, some to find fame, glory, and wealth beyond telling, and others never to return. The town of Grove has ever been a safe haven at the dungeon's mouth, a watering hole and resting there place is voice for weary Ooh. adventurers. Here, great tales are told Good Lord, the by the fire. So loud. Journeys are planned and legacies like, are made. I, I turned the sound down the and he's still so the great loud. Of heroes long gone, and statues ring the square, a testament okay, to their on. deeds. Yeah, yeah, you're After probably going to get angry with me. I'm turning you down a little bit, like, good lord. You and your faithful companion arrive at last in the fabled forest town, which waits beneath the long shadow of the gate. Within these walls lies the path to infinite adventure. Infinite, huh? You will test so you tell me it's a never-ending dungeon? Find fortune and glory along the way. It is here that you will determine your, your fate. fate. Okay. Wait, he's still going? Okay, no. Tell tales of a great elite knight imp. His name is spoken to whispers. Rock Swallower the Ruthless. For centuries it has waited on the 41st level of the dungeon. It's evil sweeping up toward the town. We must destroy it. Once... And for all, and get rid of its evil influence. Bird, 41st level of the dungeon. So yes, it, it kind of sounds like never-ending dungeon crawling. It's never-ending, but but there is an end. <laughs> so, so isn't that like, you know, the exact opposite of never-ending? You know, if it has an end? And I'm going to assume, I'm going to assume that the big bad of the game is not your anyhow. journey has begun. It's just what it's telling me right now. Left click to walk, uh, search for quests, go to the dungeon gate when you're ready. Stats, inventory. OK, so C, I, standards. All right. Spellbook is B. Skills are K. Quests, journal, map, etc. Bartleby. Well, I've got plenty for sale, so I do. Eh? All the ruthless <laughs> bosses random. Well, I don't think I have any gold right now, so no. Drag and drop, okay. 
So I have a 250. You wouldn't even let me get the options here, you jerk. Well, what can I do for you? Jesus! So loud. All right. What do we got? What do we got? Well, I'm going to go with not the fishing pole. Escape is where the options are. Yeah, when I hit that, it just gave me the save resume screen, though. Helm portal sounds like it might be vaguely useful, but we have one. And then he's got books. No actual items, though. So, like, I can't buy a shield or anything from this guy, apparently. What are you? It's the Traveler. Gangar. You look like you know a bargain when you see one. Okay, here we go. Gear. It takes some healing and mana pots. It, it looks like we got three healing pots at least. Yeah, I think it's just the main menu that lets me mess around with the um, volume and graphics and all that fun stuff. Okay, so this is just like melee gear. I'm not seeing anything like defensive. So what's, what's our damage right now? Let's start there. What's our damage right now? Three to six. Fast. Uh, there is no and not too much need for mana as it regens. Ooh, okay. That's 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 helpful to know. What about you? What do you sell? Jeez. Oh, okay, yeah. Mr. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's our stash. Yes. Okay, so apparently return to him when I've murdered the ruthless guy. It's the character stats that show. I'll damage three to seven. Okay, so that's how I'm affecting that weapon and then dealing damage. Gotcha. The seer, not so worried about. This guy looks You'll like an armor. Find a better deal than in my shop. Arms and armor. I kind of want to stick with a fast weapon. I am questioning if I should get a bow or something, though, just to be on the safe side. So I have something else I can like range with if I have to. Pastor or warrior? I think I'm gonna go warrior just because it's safe at first. If the spells are really cool, like I'm gonna be a caster, I can always like remake or something at that point. There's a pseudo summon. Ooh. Or maybe we'll just see how long we can go without spending a single stat point. And if I can last long enough, I can figure it out. Yeah, you know what? How much is this? Two hundred and two dollar. Is there like a quick switch? No. I'm really hoping I don't need arrows to go with this. I don't. Excellent. There are also skills uh, that are hammer and sword on the bottom that show all the skills. Okay, so it's even like attack magic versus defense magic kind of stuff. Battle, dual wield, critical strike. Ooh, it's gonna be that's gonna be Aiden's favorite right there is critical strike. If they had a sneak skill or something or backstab, that'd also be right up his alley. Shield battle. Okay, block chance. Okay, got it, got it. Attack speed and crit. Attack speed and crit. <laughs> there. Oh, no sneak stuff? Boo. So there's classes in the game, huh? So it goes purple, then teal, then yellow.
that there in the background is a mimic. Death cap, huh? Get him, Dogbert. I'm sorry, Sir Barks a lot. You know, I ridiculously turned this game down on volume and it is still so loud. I don't understand. You know what? Um, We'll do this. Because it is like ear shattering for me. I don't know about you guys, but it's definitely like ear shattering. Let's turn that down a wee bit. Oh, apparently I cannot break these crates. Oh. Now you can be careful. Open all your chests. Is this a hardcore run and no one told me? There are traps. Well, apparently the doors just open. I don't get to actually open them. That's a little disappointing. Major. Hey, 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 Flame Scratcher the Bloodthirsty. Flame Scratcher! Come on, meow. Alright, there we go. Unidentified item. Um, identify it by right clicking and identify scroll and left clicking the item. Yeah, I was hitting shift as I was kiting, I swear. So we got one of these. I guess we're going to go for the armor. 2% chance of finding a magical item. Well, I guess that would be useful like early game, right? gear up a little bit. Time to start my MF set. So magic find is good in this game. I should really just, like, continue one way until I have, like, explored it. Oh, oh. Got something ooey-gooey. Let you build armor sets fast. Cool. Oh, apparently, uh, Sir Barksalot took somebody out. Okay, so alt is what lets me see items on the ground. So that's a, at least that's similar to Diablo. I can get behind that. Mana potion, even though I don't have any spells yet. All right, dead end. Oh, we'll toggle scene item. It'll t oh, it toggles it like I don't have to hold it down. No. You stay, fire, fire it. There you go. Yeah, see, it seems like I have to hold it down. It doesn't like toggle it by itself, sadly. Uh oh, we made a mushroom mad. Well, 
or the magnifying glass at the bottom. Okay, so if I just click it, it'll actually keep it on. Gotcha. Okay, that makes a little more sense. Uh oh. Someone's all glowy and glittery. Yeah, it's Pico the fisherman. I, 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 I. Don't you gurgle at me. How dare you? You are fortified. Get our precious shinies. Magic anvil. Nasty rat. Why are you coming after me like that, man? I don't need your rabies. When in doubt, pick it all Will up. you tempt fate? Place an item on the magic anvil. Um, well, this is what? One through five, one through five. So it's the same as what I got. Uh, so I had it. Three through six, two through seven, two through seven. Okay, so nothing special. And the anvil. And a book table. And two shops. I'm taking it this is a good thing. Will you tempt fate? Sure. Fate has favored you. What's that ammo? You can enchant that, maybe. Will you tempt fate? Fate has favored you. A spectral hammer crashes down and imbued with unique power. Reduce item requirements and a dexterity bonus. All right, so everything's single use, got it. What do you think you're doing? Oh, it's dead end, all right. Listen here, Captain Rabies, I don't need any of that. Oh, see, I could have enchanted the elven amulet. I'd just been patient. Oh, oh, psychedelic mushroom coming for me. All right, let's, is this just like a little dead end? Pretty much. All right, so go to you the clock, you know a bargain when you traveler. Um, let's get rid of one of these because we definitely don't need it. I don't want a slow weapon at all. That's the same as what we got. Ten uses of town portal. Okay, so it does stack. Thank God. Last thing I want is like this thing that backs out at like 10 and we have like a billion scrolls on me. Identify that sort of shield. Improve chance of block and life. Okay, life steal. We'll hold on to this just in case. We'll get rid of you. Get rid of you. No, that was a health potion. Oh, okay. It's a little bitty health potion. So we'll just do that actually. Ready you for now. So two through seven, three through six. Slashing, slashing. Um, hundred gold. What do what do these people think that I'm just made of money right now? God. Item requirements two six. Okay, that makes that easy. Uh, it had ten when I got it, and I threw a scroll into it. So. The book now has 11 uses. Um, both are fast attack speed. We'll hold on to that. I don't think it matters which one I use right now. 
sword looks more hero-esque, right? That royal cowl is huge. Why is the helmet so absolutely massive? <laughs> Um, I'm not I'm not gonna lie. It throws me off a little bit seeing that like compared to the boots and gloves here I'm poor anyway. Why am I even looking at buying stuff? Like it's all red I might as well just save my gold Some of the timber wolf oh, I mean, I know it's a hat golder. I swear it was just the sheer size of said hat compared to, like, the boots or the gloves. Like, the hat just seems massive. Absolutely massive. Oh, I can summon skeletons. Gonna have to get that at some point, peace belt. Yeah, it, apparently, though, it's like 6,000 gold, which, you know, I'm not anywhere near that level of moolah yet. So, okay, we sold stuff to him. Who, who's the fisherman? Buy some fresh fish. Oh, uh, so I can transform the dog to do things. Tunnel spider, tunnel spider, tunnel spider. Okay. This may not be a bad idea for now. Because if I buff my pet, that's like extra easy passive damage. And these are all the same. Yeah, that may not be a horrible idea. You know what? We're going with it. Your pet has been transformed. It's your favorite eighty, and it's a spitter. The itty bitty spitter. All right, let's at least clear the rest of this out. I know we killed the the unique guy already. Missing no. Yeah. You are exhausted. Blood damage club. <laughs> Use it to destroy your undead foes. Oh, nothing like a good old club just to, to batter bones, right? All right, we pretty much threw here already. So we just got to check out this little end over here. Also, good against slimes. Never use slash weapons against slimes. You know what? I'm going to see. Stamina is yellow. Yep. Mana is blue and red bars are healthy. Yeah, all, all, all the standard colors. Is this just going to be like a useless dead end or is it like going to be something useful at the end of this little like run? Nope. Nope. Okay, there we go. You That's what I wanted to know. Don't you exhaust me. How dare you. Shall we descend the... Chair, uh, descend the stairs. I was about to say chairs. My English is fantastic tonight. Learning the shield battle skill gives you a chance to block, even when traps are sprung. And who doesn't want to get sprung, am I right? Get slurped. There are elemental damage in the game. There's gonna be traps for sure in this. You have sir. been granted new skills. Oh, I thought Sir Barkslot just like died there. That's why he was gonna tell me your pet has died. So that goblin was like doing a number on him. Is he just gonna keep running? Yes, he is. Candy bars. Slaps. What's up, dude? How are we this evening? 
Oh, the pet can't die. That is good to know. Get him, dog. Get him. I don't have a spider anymore, though. That, that's disappointing. I would much rather be here than a blue stream. Uh-oh. Sir Boxalot ain't nothing to mug with, son. Don't you mess with Sir Boxalot. What, what happened, Slaps? What grievance do we have over at Blue Suits? I don't get timed out every five seconds for an hour straight? Good lord. Oh, that's why you're here too? Is is there like some like angry, angsty people right now over in Blues? You found a gemstone. So, okay, so socket items, okay. I don't know, Blue hates us. Well, isn't there like, is there a reason for this hatred? Like, even if it's not necessarily like, is, is Blue in a bad mood? Did something bad occur? There's been a huge miscommunication. What type of miscommunication? Like, you think you're being, like, we'll say censored or targeted slaps? Is that what you're saying? I mean, I... Because, I mean, at least my personal interaction with Tara, she always seemed like a relatively calm individual. Now, I know you and Ron don't necessarily like each other a whole ton. Or at least, you know, you'll get into your tiffs, as we'll put it. I thought he was just drunk one night and unwillingly modded her. I mean, Blue did chill for the longest time without any actual mod. But he he's also... His stream has grown so much that he's probably getting close to the point where he definitely needs one. Now, as far as, you know, how Tara was selected... I mean, I, I have no opinion on that one one way versus the other. I mean, I know she's been in Blue Stream for, like, forever. You have so, gained an experience oh, God. And skill. I burned a potion. Freaking out. I don't know, but mine is a serious thing for me. And all she and Ru all she, Rowan, and Tara do all the time, time me out constantly. Well, have you tried talking to them or Blue while you're getting timed out? Like maybe try and clear up said miscommunication so it's not an issue. Wait, get wrecked, Mushroom Boy. Get wrecked. Got another shield. I have. It's obviously not resolved the problem. Well, who have you talked to then? Your pet has grown more skinny. Like, did you talk to Blue or did you talk to Terra? anymore. Oh no. All right, let's, let's slay our foes real quick and check our inventory here. Not, I am not hearing the talk about timing you up, but yet again, I have been there. Yeah, I, w I would say, you know, who did you talk to? And maybe see if you can clear it up. So it no longer vexes you. I think I'm only going to start holding on to magic items at this point. I tried talking to Blue. Shift will tell the pet to pick something up. Ooh, okay. That could be useful. This has a socket. I don't need that. What is this? Antidote. I feel like it's giving me that for a reason. 5% attack speed. 
But it's it's a slow weapon, so I'm definitely not going to keep that. So the heck with that thing. All right, all right. Oh, there's pet inventory. So, will he go? Oh, so, so. Pet inventory. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And it's mostly useless. Okay, that that's good to know. Thank you, Golder. So, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Tell me the thing slaps. Tell me the thing. So my pet does have a life bar. Ooh. I'm assuming it probably just reses eventually over a certain time period if it dies. Die, Squeakums. Die. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Kill them. Kill them. It regens one HP if it dies. So, like, do I heal it? Is that how this works? Like, do I give it potions or something? It said, I'm hitting tab because I'm so used to Valheim and that's how I open my inventory that it's ridiculous. Well, go to saying we don't need that. Can I like... Uh -huh. See? See? I'm figuring it out. Oh, gosh. This is really hard for me to take something serious. Wait, what? I feel like it's really hard for him to take something serious, and I get he's in the military, so he's always really serious. But sometimes he really just ignores what we ask, like the one time Golder asked to stop talking about genitals in chat because it made him uncomfy. Everyone just continued naming slang for the male anatomy. That is the penis. I'm, I'm slightly confused by your statement in the first and second. Uh, I'll say first sentence. That you say it's really hard for him uh, to take something serious, but you then say he gets really serious because he's been in the military. Uh, that is a little confusing. That was more a request for one stream. <laughs> I guess could have gone more streams. Okay, that's how I zoom that out. That because I kind of want to see the whole friggin' thing. There we go. There we go. So are you saying, like, not necessarily that blue is not, you, you, you're saying blue is not serious, or you're saying blue is serious? Because one sentence is one thing and the other says another. Yeah, because he's supposed to be serious. Well, I understand if he lays loose on Twitch to get away with the seriousness. So you mean he has to be seri serious at his job? And that makes him a serious person, or that he does not want to be a serious person while he's streaming. Is I don't feel like Blue is like crazy serious per se. You say that I'm, I'm a troll, right? Um, you, you're you you can definitely troll when you want to, Golder. Oh my God, this guy doesn't want to die. All right, let's let's get rid of the ref raff here. You have been granted new skills. Kill him! Kill him! He got hella ha slash resist. He does, but you know what? We got him. We got him! Get wrecked, slime. Get wrecked. Bo would have helped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have to identify it, and it's got two sockets. Might be chilling with that. So, so... 
Are you saying that blue is serious or not serious slaps? Because you, I feel like you have not answered the question. All right. Oh, we think you're going. Send you to your grave. We can ask him. Ask him about what? Um, wait, what? Mumbo stream slaps. Oh, you mean as far as gold or trolling someone? I gotcha. Okay, I, I see, I see. Your pet is fleeing. Runs out of life. Effective in combat won't pick up any more item. Heal your pet, drop or drop. Okay. There we go. I was the one who got blue to vote himself out. Well, I mean, it didn't seem it was like that it was that difficult to get blue to vote himself out, though, I will say. Ooh, book of identify. One time in Terraria that I went hard on him. I don't remember watching much of the Terraria stream, to be honest. I don't know if I was streaming that night or something else came up like I was working. I don't remember. I, like, I remember him starting that stream, but I don't remember watching a whole lot of it. In power. Are, are we really having a debate on w whether Golder can effectively troll someone right now? Is that what's happening? No, no, no. Streamed a long time ago before I was streaming. Well, that Slaps was streaming. But I do vaguely remember that night. But, like, there was, there was some, for some reason or another, I did not watch much of the Terraria stream itself. That's all I remember. And generally, I'll even, like, lurk in Blue's channel even if I'm not actively watching the stream if I'm doing something. And I remember very little of his Terraria stream, so I'm I'm guessing I had something I had to do. Might have been on a Thursday, okay. Get squished. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where's your fireball spell? Get wrecked, noobs. <laughs> Density! <laughs> Gotta get that mob grinded in 80 and gotta get it in! So it was back in, you think it was an April stream? So I definitely wasn't streaming by then. The, I didn't start streaming until. You are overburdened. How oh, dare you overburden me? How oh, dare you? Pick it up. Do it. All right, we'll steal the gold. I keep hitting to have to put my inventory. It might be a problem. All right, we got our handy dandy Odentu Five book. Um, we've got a whole bunch of levels we haven't done anything with either. Um, so so slaps to answer at least the question: Do I think Golder is a troll? Overall, I do not think Golder is a troll. Is Golder capable of trolling? Absolutely. But I don't think he perfectly comes into, like, every stream to troll someone. That's that's Send the pet to town. I'm assuming he sells stuff for me if I do that. Um, before I do that, what is on him? So let's just switch these. I want to keep that. Um, six, three. Nope, you can go away. You can chill here for a second. The question is, never is Golder a troll? No, I've absolutely seen Golder troll people. Like, he does not actively do it on a regular basis. At least I do not think he does. 
That is not possible. Why not? I mean, this is this is identify, right? Oh no, it, it tells me because I'm stupid. Defensive, nah. We don't do a defensive here. Charm, I ain't charming nobody. Another defensive. Uh, charm. Come on now, I'm seeing a pattern here. I'm seeing a pattern. Holes can come already identified. Yeah, I figured that out like kind of after the fact. My bad. My bad. Alright, let's see what these other things are. So this is 2 to 7. Damage reduction, movement speed. It's still slow though, and I... I have this like really... Like, meh feeling about slow weapons. I just do. Unless they, like, are going to obliterate something, I do not see a point in having a slow weapon. I just don't. Elven jewelry. I don't need two of those. I'm just saving one in case I get, like, the enchantment thing again. Blue was playing all it was Monster Hunter World back then. Whew. Yeah, I could put the uh, attack speed gem in it. So this is this is a fast one, which is why I saved it. It was for the socket. But this handy dandy spear here, even though it's normal attack speed, it's free three friggin sockets. So I'm kind of debating that one and and it's magical. Slow weapons are not that slow, really. All right, let's see. Let's see what this guy's got. Reflect enemy damage. Yeah, go with that one. Drip socket. Do it. Do it. Oh, and it's one-handed? Okay, yeah, this is no-brainer. Sorry. No-brainer now. And we'll hold on to these. Um, let's send him back to a cow. Longer. Yeah, I ain't that far down, so he should be back really freaking quick. Um, Level up. So, it may now be decision time. Identify levels are just for magic, uh, not with scrolls and books. Oh, okay, so if I have enough magic, I can automatically identify something or with a spell. That makes sense. That makes sense. So we, we go melee, we go magic. And, like, I don't necessarily want to pick... An attack skill this early because like everything in my like Diablo oriented brain for ARPG says you wait till you know what some of the end game gear is and then you like focus on that. Oh, a charm magic levels for identification. Feels odd. And there's not like maybe I'll just do critical strike for now. Like it would work with everything. It feels like relatively safe to do early on, but I don't know, like, it's, it's only going from 0 to 1.45%. Like, that, that, that is some, like, low gains there. But, like, these are all, like, one point in damage and stuff. Do I make you nervous? You always make me nervous, Slaps. Always. Charm magic is good for all classes. And, oh, the critical doesn't work with magic. Ooh, okay. Okay. That's good to know. Like, I can crit with fireball, make the room explode in flames. All right, Golder, I'm, I'm going to lean on your expertise here. If I, like, pick a weapon, like, you know, do, do like, a you know, sword skill, for instance, is it going to, like, screw me the rest of the game, like, where I only want to use swords? Or is that, like, not a big deal? Because I know in a, a lot of other games, like, you, you really have to consider what weapons you want to, like, jack your points into so it doesn't screw you over. Oh, yeah, can you respec? I'm going to go with no on the respec, just because the, the age of the game. And I feel like a lot of games back then did not offer that option. Not a big deal. Okay, that makes me feel slightly better about myself. And technically, there's no respec. Okay. Well, that makes me think there's a workaround then. Or, or some bug or glitch that Golder has discovered to uh, take care of this issue. 
question is, do I want to marry myself to, to like, spear skill right now? Ugh. It's not a glitch. <laughs> um, you know what? We're gonna go melee or bows then, and I'm just gonna we're, we're just gonna bite the bullet and do critical strike for now. Um, I've got 15 stat points. Jeez. All right. So we'll tell me what. Okay. So attack and dodge. Damage, health, right? Stamina. It's just an... Oh, so I have to progress through the game far enough to actually get access to it. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. I feel like getting dexterity is not a bad idea, because number one, it's going to help me hit things, which I'm already struggling to do with certain guys now. And dodging means less damage. So even if I just put... A couple points in here. It's not going to be bad. All right. Um. Oh, wait, wait, wait. missed it. Your pet has returned. Oh my God, we're rich. Stabity stab, Mr. Goblin. Stabity stab. How you like it, huh? You know me, I like my Dex monkeys. You you just want to sneak behind things, murder them, and then sneak away. And when something finally corners you, you, you only want like 9,000 dodge. Game so, on! Uh, <laughs> You were probably on the sound cooldown. You are exhausted. Uh, slaps. So everything needs a balance of strength, dex, and magic. And if you could apply poison, it's even better. Yeah, you are a rogue. Two poison spells. See, he's already talking it up for you, Adian. He's already talking it up. Okay, I still got a little bit of the map to explore. Exhausted. Yeah, 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 you're exhausted. I heard you. You're still alive. How dare you? One shot. Technically for two or summons. Part of me wants to like almost go into magic and just like summon crap tons of things and do like the whole here's my army. I'm going to go AFK in the corner now. Bye. Let me know when it's dead. I don't know if it's actually possible in this game or not, though. Something fired some type of icy spell at me. <laughs> Urgal the improbably named. <laughs> what? What is that? You have gained in experience and skill. That was one heck of a title. Right, it's saying the down. Okay. So I can sneak down here. All oh, there is a limit, and they are out for limited time. Boo. That's no fun. So, what you're telling me is I can't, like, just have massive amount of minions follow me around on the screen on a regular basis without having to, like, recast things or hitting the limit on them. That's just disappointing. Uh-oh, we're against four stimps now. You better scream.
I kind of wanted to find more gems. Little disappointed I haven't found more yet. Names of the game could be funny. I'm going to assume, like, it's, it's somehow procedurally generated. It's a big freaking room. Uh-oh. Uh. Uh-oh. We're getting surrounded. Could be curtains. And why is it still so freaking loud? Boo. Let's let's like turn this down further. God. And now I'm just gonna miss the crap out of this guy. Oh, well, oh, hiding in the corner. That's right, you better go squish. Stupid little thing. You're really a slime, but you're calling yourself a gel. Ooh, aren't you special? Must break every crate. Oh, uh, okay, so Charm Magic lets us stay out for longer and has the possibility of making it stronger. But from, from what you're telling me, it doesn't seem super feasible to try and make like, a summoning class, though. You quit attacking my dog. You hear me? Another book of town portal. It is not a possibility, gotcha. So they're made for just like a little extra attention, a little bit of extra damage. Increased in power. Can actually make you too strong. What? Listen, Golder, when it comes to games, there's no such thing as too strong. L let's just get that misconception out of the way now. Oh. If it can be. No, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's not a possibility as far as the charm spell. It always makes your stuff stronger. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, I'm 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 getting what you're putting down now. No such thing as open uh, overkill. There's only open fire and reload. What about I need more ammo? Is that one we can go with Adian? The Shrine of Learning. Ooh, twisted really ring. Sure. Nothing. It gave me nothing for reading. You see that? Game is bouncing, so if you become strong too fast, it catches up real fast. Okay, so, like, does it actually, like, adjust on your character? Or is it, like, based on, like, how far you are in these dungeons? You have sprung the trap. And it missed me, so take that trap. Poking things with the spear. Like, I feel like the, the flag should be something. The pole is very good. Ooh, wait, the large chest held 15 gold. That was my reward for that. Listen, these barrels just dropped 20, all right? Stupid chest. Need to level up your game. You have been poisoned. It's the enemies and they balance every level. Gotcha. Is the fishing pole important? Who's what, back here? Yeah, there it is. You see a cloud of fireflies. Eating fish to your pet treasure, blah, 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 blah. Fishing holes in town and throughout the dungeon. You can also find rare items by fishing. 
to catch me some dinner. A little trout. Maybe a little bass. Well, I haven't used... Refreshed. I swear I didn't click that, but it's like, a yeah, you clicked that, by the way. You have sprung a trap. Oh my God, so many trips. You have sprung a trap. I'm starting. Poisoned. I suppose I'm starting to notice uh, it, it's enjoying its traps right now. You sprung a trap. No, no, you sprung a trap. How you like them traps now? Personal storage chest in town. Uh oh, it's the anvil. Will you tempt fate? So okay, Golder. Can I enchant something twice, or can it only be used once per item? Like if I put the, this pendant in there, will it give it another thing? Will it re-roll it, or will it just tell me no? You're out of luck. Tough crap. You can enchant multiple times. Well, this one's just a dexterity bonus, and I've not really seen many rings, so I think I'm at least going to enchant that. Fate smiles upon you. You receive extra enchantments. Hey, attack speed. I like attack speed. Attacking things more quickly and murdering them is always good. Always. You will not change my mind. There's an enchanter in town. Okay, so I'm assuming you can do the same thing with the enchanter. It just costs you gold or, you know, whatever math they've decided for it in order to do so. Is it a trap? No, not yet. It takes gold. Okay. So you're saying these guys will catch up to my level and become more difficult accordingly. So that does that mean if I spend like next to no points, they'll always be weaker. So, like, by only putting a couple points in here and there, does that mean that, you know, they stay relatively weak? Uh-oh. No, they will get stronger at each level. Okay. Okay. So, I did not find a way to work the system, is what you're telling me. No. All right, so we found our way down. Can you attack it? You have sprung a trap. A stupid trap. You need the points to keep up. Okay, so at some point, other than putting things in like critical strike and dex, I'm going to have to put some points into this character and not try and wait for like, oh, I'm definitely going to use the swords at the end of the game where I know this legendary exists. I want to find it and use it. You're saying I will not be able to do that. You are exhausted. Won't you tell me what I am? I am me. Evil storyteller. With an extremely loud voice that I've turned down multiple times. All right, let's at least ex finish this level before I like go back to town to at least buy health potions. Oh. So legendary items are hard to find, but I think it's not that hard to find. So it's like the Diet Coke of hard to find. Is that what you're telling me, Sir Golder? It's, it's kind of hard, but not like hard, hard. There's apparently a gel there that I'm stabbing, even though 
I just wanted to see what was on the uh, weapon rack there. You have sprung the trap. All right, note to self, you have no more health potions left. They're rare, but not as rare. Okay, okay. No, we, we don't steam Golder, okay? We don't. That just seems wrong, Slaps. I'm, I'm not going to steam Golder over a pot of boiling water. Oh, is this on Steam? Yes, actually, Golder was kind enough to get this game for me uh, as a Christmas present. All right. Oh, look at that. It's a blue town portal. Imagine that. Does Golder have Steam? Yeah, Golder has Steam. I've played Monster Hunter with Golder before. Back when uh, Blue and all of us were like, I'll say addicted to it. Uh, let's just throw this in there. Um, let's see. Identify. So you don't like casting. Got it. As knockback. 3 to 9, 3 to 12. Um, hmm. What about you? 1% damage bonus. Well, I'd rather have the damage bonus over knockback, definitely. You guys can all get sold, and I think I'm going to get rid of this, because I, like, I don't seem to be having that problem. Yep, yeah, I need, you got Valheim free steam. Actually, I don't know if they offer any other way to get Valheim other than Steam right now, to be honest. Armory guy should be down here somewhere. Don't here we go. My time. I'll waste all your time. You hear me, Mr. Blacksmith? Don't you tell me what I can and cannot do, you mean, mean man, you. They're definitely using Steam for updates and blog posts. I'm, I'm kind of with Golder. I am betting that um, they are like exclusively using Steam right now because it's the easy way for any developer to get noticed as Steam compared to like trying to do it randomly on your own. There's also a healer in town. Yeah, because I kind of need to buy the potions and whatnot, huh? Um, While I'm up here, that's seven, that's six. 245, 362. Oh, you're having that conversation with them. I said the same thing. You just you search their name at the bottom. You should be able to find them. But but Slaps was having this weird error when he tried that, if I remember right. One that I am unfamiliar with. Yeah, but this is just basic armor. Like, am I better off just waiting to find something magical? Actually, let's just get rid of you. Dude, look at the markup on this stuff. This guy, he, he bought it for like 180 gold. He's selling it for 1100. This friggin' scam artist. It's horrible. Horrible. Well, I think I'm just going to buy some potions then. Now, if we can just figure out which one of these handy dandy little spots it is. Uh-oh. This guy's got a quest. I, I I have this feeling. Well met. Rome's the fourth level of the dungeon. Sure. I've received a quest. The minstrel healer. There we go. You feel refreshed. You, I, I, I want a bop. Oceans. Have you a copper to spare for a song in your name? Fame and fortune. If you pay blah, blah, blah to the rank of tolerated. 
Am I hated right now? Is that what's happening? No, I don't have the money, number one. So I can say it's somewhere in here. Oh, the unknown. Okay, so I'm not hated. Didn't that Griswold-looking guy sell you potions? That tavern guy? You might be right. Maybe that's where I should check. He is kind of Griswold-looking now that you mention it. A fine day to you. He's even got like that, like that, like that slight accent too. All right. A hundred gold a piece. The Lord, that expensive. You know, I'm just going to buy some of these be cheap. And I'm not using mana. So I'm not going to worry about that particular potion. We, we got identify. We got um, what can I like merge these? Uses 10. No, okay, so it does not work that way. Boo! Yep, yep, yep. Stick your stuff in there. What do you Good want? Day. Ambushed by Earthbreaker the Inquidious. Level 5. I received it. Shut your dirty storytelling mouth. Yeah, I received a quest. Oh, so I don't have to have the fishing pole equipped. No, it said I could fish in town. Let me fish. Come on. Do it. Do I need to, like, remove my stuff? No, okay, that's not it. I feel like I'm being fooled right now. Hey, this is where all the dead people are. Is that a skeleton? Gimbo tell. No, it's a zombie. You have received a quest. I got a quest from a zombie. That's new. Oh, here's the enchanter builder talked about. Sometimes I can even add solid. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Occasionally curse things. Do I want to give it a try? Absolutely. How much does it cost? Let's uh, let's say we're gonna keep the ring here. Ten thousand gold. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, what if I do a normal item? Also ten thousand gold. Got it. So it doesn't matter. It's just gonna cost me a lot of moolah. Curses can be bad. All right, so let's go to our character sheet. I'm level five. Um, I don't have any spells because I don't have any magic. That's what I was looking for. Hmm. Hmm. All right, all right, Adian. Do I want to do wield, or am I going to be sword and board? Like I've, I've already pointed, I'm not like going to focus on magic for this game, uh, for this playthrough. But do I want to be dual wielding freak of nature, or do I want to play it safe and like semi tanky with a shield? Can I outpace the damage? Part of me desperately wants to say yes, I'm going to do wield. I feel like for the first playthrough it's sword and board. But you can in, instead of going stab, you can go stab, stab, stabity, stab. So much stabbing. Right? You know what? We're, we're going with it. All right. Made a decision. I'm going to drop that shield sooner or later for another stabity stab stab weapon. Um, so you said I want kind of a balance of at least these three. Do if if I am 
the prim primarily relying on melee and stuff, do I even need to bother with magic? Hmm. For now, let's take all these up to 30. That's for my item, so I'm, I'm at least going to take the base to 30. And apparently have one point left over, so that'll chill. It can be viable that does not you does not portal. instill me with confidence, Golder. Not that it is viable, but it could be. Oh, see, look at that. We're, we're on the third level. We can go on the fourth one, do one of our quests. Working out perfectly. Perfect. I did dual wielding for a long time when I was younger. You make it sound like you've become wiser than the dual wielding is not the, the way to go anymore, Golder. Like, that was a folly I did when I was younger. I've moved past that. I've matured. A trap has been sprung. I, I, I saw that was sprung with the fire everywhere. I don't think you need to tell me, Mr. Narrator. I'm just throwing that out there. Hammer time! <laughs> you excited about my crude hammer, Adian? One percent chance of luck. <laughs> After I've decided definitely not going shield, that's what I'm gonna get. Wow. Um, there's that. Uh. Okay, let's, let's just clear around this real quick. Right? Yeah, that was not the uh, affix I was looking for when, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about dual wielding things. Initiates robes. So I got leather armor. I don't need your robes. That sounds like squishy talk. You are poisoned. Of course, I drank a potion and then gained a level and healed anyway. Depends on attack speed. So I'm assuming if I'm dual wielding, I'm going to want to be relatively middle to high on attack speed. Like, I probably do not want to use slow weapons. My god, there's so many of them. Stabby them! Stab them! Yeah, it needs to be fast attack speed. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. My, my brain at least processes that the same way. So, what I'm hearing is attack speed. And crit. <laughs> Like Adian's favorite words. Okay, so we we obviously see. What are you doing, hiding, Mister Gel? Really? How dare you? So there's fish in here. How do you fish? Always be critting. Always Adian. All right, you know what? Let's 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 just throw it out there. See how this looks. So we got our fishing pole. 
Like, do I click here? Is it even gonna let me fish here? Is this just taunting me? I feel like it's taunting me. What do you got? Nothing useful. Nothing. Click the fireflies, then set hook with the explanation point. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, meow. Let's move these on over. I'm going to keep this for now. Might as well. See, now... Click the fireflies. There's no fireflies. None. So I'm assuming I can't actually fish here is what that means. That is what I'm going to go with. Head to town. Older. You step into the portal. I show you. I show you. Find spells. Okay, so these guys go fishing. Set hook. Nothing. Nothing. I'm assuming maybe there's like some indicator to say like you've got a fish idiot. Okay. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. I found a cracked ruby. Hey, hey, fire damage. Gotta get all that damage. All of it. It can take a while. Oh, I got jits. I got jet. I I'm better off just like trying to uh, get loot in the dungeons. See, I was thinking I would just like get a couple of fish and like so I'd have them on hand to feed to my pet. Um, clearly, that's not the case. May the light shine upon you. Mystic items and spells. Okay, so she sells jewelry and spells and staffs. Got it. Oh, okay, she also sells health potions. Ooh, she sells gems. Okay, okay, life stolen. I'm already feeling good. Lifesteal and attacking things a lot is always good. All the items are available from town. It is higher chance that from lower town. So you're saying the stuff I find up here is better than the stuff I find down there. But obviously up here costs money. Listen, these people, these townspeople are letting a zombie wander through their town. Like, doesn't anyone have some strong feelings about this? Like, wouldn't you be a little concerned if a zombie was running through your town? I feel as though I would have feelings about this. No, it can show up in town fishing. What do you mean fishing? Should name this uh, guy Captain Stabby or something with the two spears in his hands. I'll stab you so bad you wish I hadn't stabbed you so bad. Wait for the trap. A trap has been sprung. See? See? There it is. 
There's the trap. What? Oh, you want magic? Oh, okay, I see. So you're saying the, the further down in dungeons I am capable of fishing, the better items I get at those levels. That makes sense. Stab, stab. We're stabbing. Come on, do it. There you go. So there's general loot uh, better to farm better down. Gotcha. So if I'm going to take the time to actually farm fishing, I am better off doing it in other areas. All right, so that's where we go down. But I got at least one fool to murder here. I was given a bounty and I will fulfill it. Gotta get my money, man. Gotta get my money. Did I like not explore an area or something? Did I miss something? How dare they be these shenanigans? I mean, why would they do this? Like, I had to kill someone down here. I don't even know if I killed him. I feel like I didn't kill anybody special while I was down here. So yeah, so we got this lizard guy. That's five, that's six. So I need to find Flame Smasher the cut through. Did I kill him and not realize it? No, I think it's best to get uh, the best fish than fish at the lower levels for them. Now, how important is it for me to be, like, doing things like that? Or, like, should I be trying to buy fish and, like, have, like, a stockpile for this guy? We are on level four. I have still not seen this lizard man. Did I, like, miss him someplace? Because it looks like I've explored all of the map so far. Let's find out. Let's find out. You enter the portal. No, really? I just, I, I made the portal for no reason. Why wouldn't I enter the portal, man? Some fish give permanent effects. So I need to go to Torvus. Um, blah, 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 blah. Where was Torvus? This is not Torvus. It's Rico the Enchanta. So fancy. I don't think the blacksmith was named Torvus, was he? Del. I'm going to go with maybe I've not killed this guy yet. You keep beating in my ear. Best fish are permanent. See, Burr? Where's Torvus? Did I miss Torvus somewhere? Have I not gone far enough over? The Vito. Gray, uh. 
Why didn't I just talk to the side to heal myself? Feel refreshed. Good lord. Rolo. Is this Torvus? Torvus. I have to defeat Flame Smash to the Cutthroat. It said he's on level 4 though, and I saw nothing on level 4. Of this Flame Sasher fellow. You step into the portal. Unless he's like hiding in a corner someplace that I have somehow not found. I mean, I guess that could have happened, but, like, I definitely explored the level 4 map. He can roam around the floors. You mean he's not going to just chill in his spawn zone? Listen, Gold, it's bullshit, man. It's bullshit. All right, we'll do a quick sweep. Not down this hallway. Definitely not down this one. You are exhausted. Don't you exhaust me? I think it's all the way to the south, huh? How about you like re regain some of that stamina? Now all that loot could be sold, but like I'm too lazy to actually click on gray items. I think is my issue. Are you saying that uh, this guy here should be taking care of that for me? So I get extra gold? Because I feel like that's what you're telling me. Mountain of stamina. You are fortified. I don't know, Golder. I think I might have got screwed on this one, man. I'm not seeing this lizard man anywhere yet. But, like, I definitely accepted the quest before coming to the fourth map. Exactly. Like, I I, I found all the nooks and crannies. We have not you found this exhausted. dude. I, th I think I was scammed. I think that's what happened here. I was scammed, clearly. There's fraud and scandal. I mean, that's like pretty much that, but that's all the map. Got screwed. That's what happened, chat. I got screwed. 10 points, good lord. You had this too recently? Okay, so I'm, I'm not alone all by my lonesome with this issue. That makes me feel uh, slightly better. Yeah, you weren't playing uh, Fate that long ago on Twitch, right? I mean, I say that, but like, it was a month or so ago. Tunnel crawler, huh? About two months ago? Okay, okay. Stab the goblin, stab him. Don't let that jerk run. Still dying. Still happening. Yeah, I saw that, and I wondered if that was the case. What's up? Uh, it's a, it's a mimic. 
It's a mimic. No. Oh, you give me a healing spell. That's kind of nice. I can use that. Right click to add to your spell book. Okay. Oh, we don't even have enough magic to do it. Wow. Uh, identify you. Sorry, I ate your face, but here's his feelings will make you feel better. <laughs> Oopsies. My bad. All right, let's just check around like the perimeter here before I f attempt to fish in lava. Because we all know lava fishing is just something else, right? God, this guy don't want to die. Kill him, Sir Barks and Lot. Kill him. Do your dogly duty. has grown more skilled. Heavy thorn cap of stones. A quest. Damn right I completed that quest. Listen, this glittering. I need glittering stuff. Just chaos for all the loot and spells. So what you're saying is it's really just an excuse to get stiff. So I'm going to have to get some magic no matter what I do. Chance of fighting magical items, defense, vitality, pole arms. I'm to go fishing. How dare these stupid fish not get stuck on my hook? How dare they? Never mind the fact that this man's fishing pole should be lighting on fire right now. Listen, I'm hitting it during, during the explanation point, Golder. And it's telling me nah. This thing's gonna be very good. That was not that good. It's not bad, I guess, compared to, like, you know, what I have right now. But, yeah, it's definitely not great. A small hatchet fish. So he'll become a timber wolf. Your pet has been transformed. We'll try one or two more before we move on. Do it. Do it. You're not doing it. Empty handed. Empty handed. So like, should I click it right away? Cause it seemed like I tried that earlier. It gave me nothing anyway. Or is there just a chance that you get like nothing anyway? See, see? We can only fish in a spot like once. Is that the problem? There is a chance just to get nothing. Well, I seem like I'm hitting that chance of nothing really, really well. Get him, boy, get him. I don't even know what you're angry about, but get him. Still nothing. Still nothing. I'm getting gypped. I'm getting gypped by lava fishing. What was that? No, I got legendary items after hundreds of times in town. Huh. 
like making it reload to find them? Is that what you did, Golder? Fingerling arrowfish. This will turn him into a greater basilisk. But it like negatively rips up his stats, apparently. Like hardcore on some of them, man. No reloading. It's just luck. Okay, gotcha. I got another one? No, wait. Oh, so this is another wolf one. Okay. Like, what is the point using this if it's going to make my pet weaker? Or does the basilisk get some, like, really neat ability that, like, offsets all of this? Maybe that's it. I still want the gold here, and it's not giving it to me. Not doing it. All the st stats of the current pet. So you're saying the one I have now is apparently better than the one uh, for the basilisk. Gotcha. Okay. Oh yeah, we're supposed to be having him pick up stuff to randomly sell, huh? Wolf is better than the lizard. A trap has been sprung. Oh, imagine that a trap has been sprung. However, will I survive? Oh, he got wrecked. Uh-oh, it's our boy, the Traveler. What you got, Mr. Traveler? E 4,000 gold. Hey, whatever. Don't need you anymore. Because we're going all uh, stabby stab and more stabs. Good lord, that thing looks huge. That looks like a damn giant nail instead of a war club. Mace. A lads. So these are both spear class. Um, let's get rid of these guys. Let's buy super health. Um, minor health. I mean, you are sucking on the potion front. What are these? Image dealt, defense bonus. Chops can have end game gear. Everyone just loves to hear that, right? It just makes you feel better inside. I mean, not that I can buy any of it, even if I wanted to right now, but, but, at least the option. You know what? You can go away. I wanted to have some, like, decent health potions, but apparently all he has is minor. He doesn't have, like, the, the quote unquote regular ones. Uh oh, skeleton. Don't you hate it when you open a chest and nothing's inside? Get you all excited, you're about to get some loot, and it's like, you know what? Nah. Here, take a whiff of this dust that's from the, the year 8000. Take a nice deep inhale, cough on it a little bit. And then feel the depression that nothing was here waiting for you. There's a healing charm, which is really good. Like, is it like passive regen healing? Or is it like potion on demand healing? Oh, that's like it. You are exhausted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has eight uses, so I'm going to assume it acts like a... um. Uh, potion then. Descend deeper. Like a health potion. Okay. Okay. Which, I mean, that makes sense. Especially if it has limited uses. 
No. I don't want to ascend. I just got down here. You have sprung a trap. Always with the traps. So many traps. Hey, stabby quicker. Your pet is fleeing. Well, I can't heal him. Okay, this is not good. Let's send some stairs. I'm now wondering if it stacks two with itself. Bump, 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 bump. All right, back to town we go. You enter the portal. Why is he narrating every time you pick up an item? You've gained a level. You've entered the portal. Like, dude, I clicked it. I kind of figured it out. I swear. To you. you are refreshed. Like the books. Well, the books didn't stack for me. So I've got 12 in this one and 7 in this one. It just switches the position of the books when I do it. Or at least that is what it seems like. We're good. So did it stack? No, that was the problem. It just switched the spots between the books, unfortunately. They did not stack. So if I put one book on another, it doesn't add the total together, sadly. Little disappointed. I'm just gonna sell you. Get you. What? We haven't gained a new level yet. So, uh, is it the scroll that increases in the books? If I put a scroll into it, I can find out. I haven't bought I any recently, time. so I cannot confirm that at this time. Um, let's see. This guy's 6 through 15. He is 1 through 10. It is not a big enough upgrade, I think, to justify that. Um, I still don't have any helmet, so I need more. I, I, apparently, I can't wear helmets. Um, <laughs> is it? Nah. This shop sells good unenchanted gear, uh, armor, and weapons. Okay. This has two sockets. Like, I don't even know if it's worthwhile to, like, get gear with a crap ton of sockets on it. Like, part of me wants to buy stuff that has, like, multiple sockets, but I don't know if it's worth it because I've not gotten that many gems. Like, I've only gotten those three so far. I mean, I don't know if maybe they become more plentiful as the game goes on. If you use superior gems, well, I'm going to go with I don't have superior gems yet. Uh, this is what I'm finding on the ground. There's a bank sign here. Gambling is the sport of king. Aha. Miaha. You enter the portal. Yes, I entered it. All right, revenge. We're making my poor little animal flee and tell her terror. I shall now end you. That's right. Delicious revenge.
Creation armor and weapons can up to the max number of slots. So eventually what you're saying is I can make things to some degree with like random affixes and whatnot. Because that's what I heard. Inventory is full. Alright, well, go sell you stuff. Okay, okay. Your pet has departed. Well, I mean, I did just send him to go sell things. Of course he departed. Slots can come with enchantments. Oh. Don't you giggle at me, you little forest him locked in a basement. Turn you into fertilizer, you hear me? Better run. So if you don't kill your gear with bad enchantments, they can be very good. Okay. I obviously have not stocked up enough uh, enchantment-wise or gold-wise to enchant said things that this is a worthwhile strategy for me, yet I'm, I'm going to assume. You're still running. Suck it up. Your pet has returned. Buttercup. Just die. Enchanting is expensive. <laughs> just a little expensive, just kind of, sort of. All right, he's in Wolfbert form. Your pet has so let's just burn this one right now. That way I don't feel bad using it for like no reason. It's everyone's favorite time, fishing. Come on, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. 1k for the first enchant. No, it was telling me 10,000 when I looked at the enchanter gold. Or 10,000 gold for your first enchant. If it was 1,000 gold, I would have done it a couple times. But no, it decided that that was not going to be a thing. I got a small trout. 10,000 10, gold. Tunnel spider. Okay. Yep. Yeah, 10,000 gold just to do the initial enchant. With the chance of a socket. I kind of figured that may not be worth my time. Stop eating me through the wall. Come on out. Jerk. You're not using your monster mind games on me. It's been a minute since we got a trap. I'm just like waiting for it now. Like what crate's gonna try and explode? That's a kobold? That is a freaking large kobold. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Did you turn back to Dogbert already? That was quick. All right, now Your you can be the, the spider again. Don't you run. Get back here. Uh oh. Come on, Dogbert. Come on. Make them come to us. Alright, check this room real quick before we venture forth. Fountain of Wellness. You feel refreshed.
Oh, it's a lizard man. Dude, I feel like these tender girls just attack so fast. Just hurt. Where are you guys hiding? Wow, he's full already, man. You can go go forth Your and sell my stiv. All right, we got we got to drink a, a potion. Um, looks like we have to explore this back corner a little bit still, rather than like going down the thing. I don't know what you what you I don't know in slaps. Are you talking Do I about? Make you nervous? I've already told you, Golder, you make me very nervous. <laughs> oh, it wasn't a dead end. There's like a little... Oh, uh, uh, no, 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 no. How dare you? New creatures have joined your dungeon. Blue suit coming in with that awesome raid. Welcome one and all, Taro. Dark Rogan, Huggy Beer. Slaps. Oh, you wonderful, amazing, awesome human beings. You, how are we this evening? Thank you both, uh, Slaps and Golder, for shouting out Sir Blue Suit, the awesome and wonderful game reviewer and YouTuber extraordinaire. Spirit Buddy, welcome on in. E. Welcome one and all. Uh, we're, we're having our wonderful retro night tonight. We're actually playing Fate. It's uh, a game that actually Golder got me off of Steam for as a, as a Christmas gift. So thank you once again, Golder. Tentacle Raid Heap. How you doing? What it is? We're doing pretty good tonight. Um, after a day of back-to-back -back meetings and, you know, me essentially staring at my monitor and drooling, um, it was nice to do something that actually engaged my brain. <laughs> How we doing tonight, Blusif? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having a little bit of guidance with Golder here since this is my first playthrough of uh, the, the, the endless dungeon that is fate. Looks kind of like it, it, it. You know what? It, it does kind of remind me of it, like image wise. I'm going to die here. Um, it's like I'm trying to stab rats and mushrooms for survival. Your pet has returned. Um, actually, it's it's very much an ARPG. Um, definitely older. And it actually has a pet system. You know, your, your guy can pick up stuff and sell it back to town for you, which is very Torchlight-esque. But I'm pretty sure this came before Torchlight. But it's not as, I'll say, grim as Diablo and Torchlight. Not that, like, Torchlight was really, like, grim-looking horror or anything. But yeah, it, it's very much an uh, action RPG. This was in 2000s-ish? Really? I thought this was older than that, Golder. Like, for some reason, I was convinced that this game was, like, 90s at least. You've never gone through the whole game? How dare you, Golder? But, you know, same concept. You, you you find new monsters, you murder them. Um, you, you collect loot from every possible place that you can think of. Break all the vases. Destroy all the creatures. Well, this one, not all the other games. Like he's, there's, there's like four expansions for the game. Right, Golder? Is that, or is there more than that? Is that just what I saw on Steam? 
The only one that were four games in November? Really? It is fun, though. It, it definitely takes you back to, like, the, the, the beginning of ARPGs. Like, it's it's nothing like super fancy or, you know, it's not going to blow your mind. But, I mean, it's 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 good, decent, uh, relaxing. The one thing I will say... Oh, it's four separate games. They're not even, like, just flat-out expansions. Um, I do kind of like the fact... So, you've got, you know, your, your classic character screen... You know, your stats, all that fun stuff, they all relate to different uh, points. You're in our APG. No, no blue. You're in our AP. A R P G. English words, letters. So hard. Um, <laughs> where is it? As I'm, I'm like still learning everything. So there's like skills. Instead of like a skill tree, you can actually put points into skills that, like, you know, Different forms of magic. You, do you want to use a sword and shield? Do you want to dual wield? What kind of weapon do you want? <laughs> Actually, real pretty guy. Oh, my bad, Blue. My bad. <laughs> Ooh, slap, Slap's coming at Blue hard with the... Did you ever be... Is, is Slap starting to stri start a fight with Blue Suit? Is that what's happening right now? Nope. I went hard on Cyberpunk offline mostly, just because of the sheer amount of time some of it takes. It is fun to play through it, um, at least in my opinion. I did it a couple times, like... God, that skeleton is ripping me with a new one. Don't do it. Be gentle. It hurts us. Um, new skills. But after doing it like two or three times just to unlock different endings, see the different content, I definitely lost interest in the game. Like, there's just not too much else to do until they... I don't know if they have to put out a DC, uh, DLC, uh, some type of patch, something like that. Are you wielding spheres? Yes, I am, Taro. Yes, I am. <laughs> and it was mostly just to see if I could do it. Because it didn't seem realistic in my brain, but you know what? He's doing it. And it's fantastic. At least right now. And this thing is going nuts! Your pet is fleeing. Yeah, I'm sure he is. This thing is mean. I'm running from this thing how quickly it was attacking. Like, look at that. That is one angry mushroom. All right, um, let's go get some portions because I'm definitely going to need some potions for this fight. <laughs> He's doing it. He's starting to believe. I heard the first few weeks it was out. I uh, not find a single person streaming it on us. Oh, yeah. When it first came out, people went nuts over Cyberpunk. I mean, at least on PC, I did not have a lot of the issues I that other people said. Slaps, thank you so much for that host, sir. Um, it was big. It was big when it first came out. I mean, obviously, it had great graphics. The gameplay was interesting. Lots of different things to do. But as you go through it, I mean, it's not like it has multiplayer. It it, it doesn't have a ton of replayability, unless you want to. You're like a kind of a completionist. You want to unlock every little achievement, see every little interaction. But if you're there just to run through the story once or twice just to see kind of like the outcomes you could get, I mean, after you do that, what else are you going to do? So I can, I definitely understand why people have not been streaming it like they were before. Oh, I need more health potions than that. There we go. So I have nothing against Cyberpunk, but like, yeah, it, I don't think it's going to have longevity unless you're someone who gets like mods and stuff for it. Or if they start coming out with some more regular updates. But the whole update problem is, you know, they're still trying to fix all of the issues they had with the console launches, which means they're already behind the eight ball on that one. So by the time they get like fresh content out to everybody, 
I think it's going to be out of a lot of people's minds and they're not going to bother. <laughs> of course, Slaps, there's only Valheim. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie, Taro. It was real hard not to be like, you know what? I'm not going to play a richer game tonight. I'm going to play some more Valheim because I definitely did that for like, what, a solid week and a half? Adele the Savage, you are a beast, sir. Just ripping through my health. Your pet is fleeing. Well, I don't blame him for fleeing. This guy is like beating me within an inch of my life. The quest is completed. Thank God. Hurt. Hurt so bad. Ooh. Well then. I'm about to fire up Steam and play the Infected. I haven't since the updates. Oh, there's new updates for the Infected. I know you were getting really into that, Taro. Your pack is full. Of course it's full. Why wouldn't it be full? All right, Mr. Pet. I'm going to need you to pick up all these things so I can recover some of the gold that got inhaled when I started buying potions for that guy. Even though I'm just some poor, lonely little adventurer. I've been deep into cheat mode on Valheim and building a lot. I have figured out, yeah, though, the creative building mode. So I like to build something on, like, I have a personal instance just dedicated to building stuff. And then once I've kind of figured out a build, I like the way it looks, then I begin the process of farming the mats and building it on the server. So my, my big accomplishment right now is the one portal tower I made. I think I posted a picture on Blue's Discord about it. I finally got all the mats for it and I built it. I've got a stupidly low amount of health. I really shouldn't be starting the fight I am starting right now. Mistakes were made. Don't kill me yet. Oh. Yeah, I'll feed a potion to my pet in a second. How about you let me heal my bleeding body? Good day to you. You feel refreshed. Whew. Okay, he's already in town. Let him let him sell the stuff he's carrying, game. Why are you gonna be angry like that? Uh oh, you fell down the Reddit hole? Super creative builds now kind of feel shitty about my yeah um I saw one where someone actually rebuilt the temple for Ocarina of Time um you know the nerd in me is like you know that's fantastic then there's another part of me of like how much time and farming did it take to get there because that's gotta be crazy I don't care about mana. You're three through nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not using shields. Pitchfork. Who needs a pitchfork other than farmers? Millennium Falcon out of wood? Person made a portal tree. A portal tree? Like it like is it a base in a tree or did someone like build from the ground up like wood to make it look like a tree? You know what? I, I played around a lot with the curves on my tower portal thing and I got them. So like they, they, they kind of arch around and over and then end up in a point. So building curves actually isn't too bad. I, I'm finding a lot of it, especially when you get like the, the real long curves going upwards or downwards that the, the structural stability, either you have to find some really good anchor points as you're building until you get, you know, to the end of the bottom or top where it reconnects, or you have to get really creative with a whole bunch of ladders as you're building upwards and hope you don't like fall to your doom. Not that, you know, I didn't do that three or four or five times or anything, I swear.
Portals at the bottom, then a treetop. There's a bunch of portals. Okay, okay. <laughs> Structural integrity is awesome. And a curse. Yes, I agree. Um, I, there's definitely been times I'm building something. It's like, oh, it's green. It's green. It's green. Yellow, dark red. Okay. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to get creative with the rest of this. Oh, you're not a builder, Golder. You just you're more like exploration, loot, and horde. I'm definitely like, I don't mind doing raids and like having access to my resources, but I definitely like, and I think it's been in every survival game I've ever played. I like to build, like even when uh, we were playing horde. grounded, like I just like I made bases like at every corner of the map that was open at the time. Okay. Why are you telling me about quests when a goblin is trying to stab me? How dare you, game? How dare you? Did it just sing as it died? That's, that's kind of um, worrying. Stone is far more sensitive than wood. Yes, um, stone walls aren't bad. I have definitely noticed that, like, when you get into stone ceilings, they need a ton of support. Like, just going, like, more than, like, two squares out, they, like, they just instantly fall apart. So you definitely like the action, like, loot. I'll say loot and shoot even though you're not shooting in games, then. I have a save file in the forest. It's got a bajillion houses. <laughs> Well, I mean, how else are you going to know if something, you know, doesn't work the way you want it to other than just building it in the game and then hoping it, it looks okay. Like, I started to do that with some of my other builds when we were still learning everything. But then I go back and look like I could have done this better. This was like a horrible idea. Why did I do that? I gotta go handle the dishes. Oh, no. Well, good good luck with the dishes, Taro. Um, I'm sorry that you have to deal with them. They're, they're, they're evil things. Even in my home, they, uh, they're, they they always seem to be there. I mean, it, it's my own fault for no, like not doing simple things like, you know, washing them. But between kids and everything else, though, there's always dishes lurking around the corner, waiting for us parents. And, and my concept of telling my children that, you know, you only really need one cup, and if, like, you had milk in it, you can just wash it out and get something else to drink if you wanted, you know, water. The, their concept of that and the fact that, you know, it's just as easy in their brain to go grab another glass and use it instead. It, it, it's a little worrying sometimes. Like, is, is, is this just how children think, or are these children truly malevolent? evil things that are here to uh, slowly drive me insane. I love them, but they definitely have that power. Arkansas playstyle 2. Uh, oh, so you like safe zones, 3x5. So you're very, like, minimalist. Like, this is what I need to survive. I really don't need anything else. I'm not going to worry about it an attack spell. Well, like, my magic is pathetic if I looked correctly. Yeah, I've only, I still only got ten. So I might as well just pump five in there anyway. So I can at least, you know, heal myself. A new spell has been learned. Frost spell. So, I, yeah, I definitely don't have enough magic for that yet. Um, active spell. Now it said I should hit F1 and stuff to, like, Well, I don't want to remove it. Okay, so it's now my active spell. Okay, there it goes. I was like, I'm not seeing it. Right click to activate. Excellent. Excellent. Your Valheim's base only a 5x10. It's big by my standards. See that like that that's an okay size for me. Like as a starter base. I mean, I guess you know that that, that kind of what led to the downfall of Blue's initial villages. Like we all decided to build well, not all of us, most of us Will you attempt fate? felt this need to like build gigantic structures. And you know, it, it only gave 
the server along with uh, many other things a small heart attack all the stuff outside the house is in one crafting bench zone I I when I build something initially I can figure out how to put the crafting workbench forge stone cutter all that fun stuff so it works initially and then I end up moving them into other places because you know my brain likes things in certain places So I don't know if I could quite do that. Uh, okay. Will I tempt fate and pry the gems from the statue? Sure. Headbreaker the Ancient has been summoned. Uh-oh. Sounds dangerous. Gotta take on Headbreaker. What is that? I think, no, that was, that's not a goblin. What did it call it? Did it call it an elf? There you go. Went down. Oh, I have to drop a potion on him? Shenanigans. I go the opposite direction. I built a 61 by 61 in arc. Must do the same in Valheim. Must build larger structure. Many details. Must decorate appropriately. I, I'd like to say I'm, I'm, I'm in that nice place in between the two of you. But I definitely enjoy my building a whole lot. Like, I'm literally traveling around the map on Valheim, going to each of the cardinal directions just to build outposts and explore the map. And I'm not seeing the outpost as, like... It, I mean, one, it's a way to... If people want to portal across the map, they can. But, like, I'm not seeing it as a chore to build the outpost. And good lord, this is loud. Why are those things so screechingly loud? My god. I don't know how many times I have turned volume down on this game. It just wants to break my ears. I want to go bigger, but I feel like it just needs to, Well, I mean, it just means putting down multiple benches at first. That's all Golder. It's nothing bad, I swear. Oh, it's, it's a rat invasion. Let's get all the pretty loot. Just just the minimalist in you hurts when those things happen. I mean, I understand everyone's got their preferred gaming process, we'll say, or mindset. Mine happens to be, you know, I, I want to build a castle. But you're much more like, I need to get these resources to get this done. I think I think the level's clear. And wander our way to the next uh, dungeon level. Portal real quick, sell some stiff. Make ourselves a, a slightly richer adventure. I won't say rich because you know I'm too early in the game to say that I have any adequate level of money. You enter the portal. All right. Um, first things first. Let's let's heal Doggo there. The Doge. Well you are refreshed. Get some more potions because I hear that you know staying alive thing during uh, an and uh, ARPG is helpful. I don't know. Someone just told me that. I believe them though. Uh, what do we got here? I don't think I have anything else with the socket, but I mean, I guess holding on to the gem is not going to be a bad thing. Random jewelry. I think I have to start, like, actually identifying things now. Uh, what do we got? 
More gold. I've gotten to a million gold. Then after I noticed it all vanished by the time I got back to the dungeon. What? How did it vanish before? I mean, I can, I can understand. Oh, you mean you actually used it in town for things. Okay. This makes more sense in my brain now that I like reread it. It's like, what do you mean? It disappeared before you got back to town. No, you mean you, you spent all of it. Gotcha. More gold chance is good. I'm going to assume the uh, the evil enchanter took your gold very quickly from you. Getting these things with like minus penalties. The heck with that. Not my cup of tea. Five through 13. Fast attack speed. I need more strength. Uh, what about you? Slow? Nope. I want like normal and better. 1% finding ma magical items. Get that good old uh, MF set going. So I think I need like a fair amount of strength still. Told me I leveled up. Are you teasing me? No, you're not teasing me. I just forgot to set my uh, skills versus my attributes. Not the 1%, but more like 50% I've seen. Oh, so you mean as I, I go up higher, I can actually get items that are like 10%, things like that. Get some charm magic. But, but, but I'm not using magic golder. Actually, I've only got the, the heal spell just to like randomly heal me a little bit. And not be like completely and utterly squishy. And defensive magic? Come on, Goldar. I'm going to be a happy little barbarian who, who doesn't use magic and murders things with his own bare hands. There's nothing wrong with that, right? <clears throat> no, I don't. Thanks. It'll make your heal, heal, it'll make a heal spell better, not hear spell. The hear spell. You know that thing. I think, wait, that one we couldn't find because the guy didn't exist. Okay, so I actually just need to go talk to people. Get my lovely rewards. Your pet has increased in power. You have gained fame. I'm now, I went from being unknown to unremarkable. Ooh. I don't know if that's an actual upgrade in uh, Renown. A fine day. I, uh, I'm literally at Sever. I, I, I killed this guy. You tell me come back when you've. How dare you? Well I'm so confused right now. Yeah, I noticed it. it did give me some skill points that, you know, seems vaguely useful. So it might be something I want to keep an eye on. Oh, man, it really gave me a lot of skill points. I thought it would be like one or two. It actually gave me eight. Having the cap in my inventory. I think I sold that cap. That could be problematic. Mistakes may have been made. Let me show you what I have to say. It's definitely not in here. That might be an oopsie. Little bit of an oopsie. So this is what, 17 damage? This is 18. Got enough for it. Why not? Why not? We'll, we'll go from, you know, dual wielding spears to... I mean, it, it's still a spear, but it calls it a lance. I still look absolutely ridiculous dual wielding them, though. 
I, I've not seen many people, e even in, you know, stories, dual wielding spears. <laughs> you now need that one mistakes clip soundbite. <laughs> uh, mistakes were made? That Would you be hap uh, uh, happen to think that should be a sound clip? Older that, you know, I should make that into a soundbite? Yes. <laughs> Oh, come on, Golder. We don't make that many mistakes, do we? Of course not. No idea what you're talking about. I mean, only because that I say it like every single stream doesn't make it true. It would make a good sound command. <laughs> I'll, I'll take, you know what, you know what? I'll take a look. I'll take a look. <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> yeah, I know that one's definitely uh, a favorite. I mean, you know, again, not th not that we die on a regular uh, basis or anything. Because <laughs> that never happens, never ever. How much? Yeah, uh, I kind of want to get it back now. Mistakes were made. Uh, well, yeah, there we go. Uh, mistakes were made. All your fault, Golder. All your fault. Don't bite back. It's not worth it. Okay, I feel better about the decision then. Are you telling me? Oh, it's because I stole my skill points to burn. Um, taking these to an even ten. I need more strength for my nifty new sword. Also, I have a maximum number of quests I can do or will hold. Well, since I don't have that uh, nifty. Oh, wait, no, this one. The Torvers? Yeah. No, it was not Horn Love. Yeah. Every OK, so yeah, it is service quest I need to get rid of. So can I like redo it, like go back to him and redo it now? With a lizard quest, I mean, so if I go back there, it won't like respawn him or something. Cause like that one, that one's not my fault. I swear. I, I, I cleared that entire dungeon looking for that guy. And he just never showed up. He stood me up, not the other way around. Oh, actually, it's only 1,300 gold? No, but after the town uh, reloaded all the quests that will refresh. Okay, so I have a chance to go back and actually still do it. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Yeah, it is stupidly cheap right now. Fate has favored you. New sockets. Ooh. Now I just need, like, helmet, gloves, and boots. I should, like, stop being lazy, hoping I'm going to find one in uh, the, the dungeon and just, like, buy some for base armor. Than in my shop. Um, 19 magic, not enough strength. And this thing's just reminded me of all the things I need to get still and that I don't have yet. That only saves the level you're on and the three levels above. Okay, so it saves the one you're on in the last three you've been through. So if I go high enough up, it can reset and I have a chance of going back and actually like accomplishing that quest now. Gotcha. That makes more sense. Two versus 16. Like, good Lord. I feel like this guy's messing with me. Goblin scimitar, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I definitely don't have the gold for that. <laughs> My uh, piddly 17,000. 
compared to you know this this two hundred sixty five thousand gold item. Yeah, that might be a little bit. Might be better off not trying to save up for that. <laughs> Orc spear. Six through twenty one. That like smokes that thing. And it's even got a socket. It's slow though. It's like a dirty word to me whenever I dual wield. I always want something with like normal or fast attack speeds when I do a dual wheel. Quest will always be two to five levels below the current floor. Okay, so like if I'm on it or I'm coming up on it soon, that's how it assigns out the quests. So I don't actually like if I got a quest, it's not going to tell you to go back to the fourth level when you're on the 11th and go back into easier content just to get the quest done. Gotcha. So they're not like static quests per se, like they find the, the randomly generated We'll say hero uh, monster. And then it just assigns random thing to it and you have to turn random thing in. That's definitely interesting. I'm not going to lie. I'm so used to ARPGs having some type of belt system like Diablo 2 had where, you know, I get a fancy new belt. I get some more friggin potion slots. And I'm not sure if this game does that. I kind of wish it did, but I have a feeling it does not. Hmm. All right, let's, let's at least get our basic boots here. So I'm not walking around on bare feet anymore. I definitely don't have enough strength to use either of these, though. Just armor and uh, enchantments. Okay. So what you're telling me is I'm not going to be in the future holding like 12 or 18 potions for my uh, quality of life improvement, which I I'm not going to lie. That makes me a weenie bit sad about that. And up to two slots. You mean two sockets? I'm assuming you mean sockets. Because, you know, if, if you tell me it's going to open two slots in terms of, like, I can hold eight potions. Hot bar and inventory. Yeah, okay, sockets. Okay, okay, I was about to say. If I can find a, a belt that will give me the ability to hold more potions, that will be fantastic. I would definitely be gunning for that. That silly quality of life stuff. Save and exit. It, it's, it's about that time for me, everybody. We're just going to sneak on over this way. Thank you so much to Blue Suit, the uh, fabulous game reviewer and YouTuber extraordinaire for the lovely raid. You awesome, wonderful human being, you. And some lovely people in our chat. Adian, Golder, Slaps, Taro. We had Rowan chilling with us this evening. Huggy beer. All you wonderful, lovely lurkers. Thank you so much for chilling with us this evening. I will be back uh, streaming again on Saturday. Pro more than likely, we'll probably play in Valheim. I'll, I'll, I'll give in to that peer pressure. You know, um, it's so difficult to resist. But if something interesting comes on, maybe we'll do a Phasmo stream with everybody or uh, I'll dare say maybe, maybe we'll do Among Us if we can get a group together. But in the meantime, since so much love and support was shown to me this evening, the big question now remains is who out there should we raid this evening? And does anyone happen to have any lovely raid requests? Let's see here. Who do we got on? We got Kuon playing GeoGuessr. That one I'm definitely unfamiliar with. Reno still playing Breath's Edge. Well, Breathage. So we, we could always sneak into the Reno playing his uh what did he call it? The 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 space Nautica game. <laughs> oh, you like that screenshot of Valheim? <laughs> 
for everyone's dead except for what was it um taro and i all those poor poor little gravestones marked all around us i i definitely got reno on i swear Sp space nautica it's getting good You know what? You know what? I think we're going to go chill with Mr. Uh, JK Reno. One, another wonderful streamer. Uh, also a lovely YouTube content creator. He's doing some really interesting things with um, this is how you do this on OBS. You know, screen transitions, green screen, uh, all kinds of different interesting things. I've actually been checking some of it out. You know, try and improve the stream aesthetic and uh, all those nifty things. Helps if I type the word raid correctly, doesn't it? I, I hear typing correctly helps. So once again, thank you all for chilling with me this evening. You're all awesome. I'll see you all later. If I don't get to see you this Saturday, have a wonderful rest of your week and have a wonderful weekend. If you happen to be subscribed to the channel, we've got a lovely raid message just Do for you. I make you, you nervous? Yes, Slash, you always make me nervous. <laughs> And if not, we also got a nifty little blood ray message you're more than welcome to use. Or if you just want to lurk on over, chill and relax, you're always more than welcome to. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. And I will see you all on Saturday. Now let's go over and spread that love to Mr. J.K. Reno, shall we? Good night.